Hey guys, welcome to your um, love reading for Leo. This is going to be for your December 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the person that, that you are dealing with, thinking of separated from. We're going to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. Okay, so apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that, so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So what messages do we have for Leo? We're going to take a look at that overall theme, the over energies between you and your person first, okay? Um, so tell me about Leo and their person. Tell me about Leo and their person. What's going on with Leo and their person? We have magical and powerful, new beginnings and alignment, taking action towards destiny, creative of our own reality through powers of manifesting here. This person could be 28 years old. You might be 28 years old. We have odious opinions, unreliable and unsympathetic advice, easily influenced by others and their viewpoints, unpleasant opinions, creating doubt and denial of the connection here. And we also have glow up here. Okay. So Leo, you are dealing with something here that basically values other people's opinions than their own here, you know? And I feel like that could be affecting the relationship between you and your person here. Here's the thing, with magical and powerful here and glow up here, I feel like you guys are glowing up. You know, I feel like this is you basically moving towards your own destiny here without this individual here, because I feel like this person is unable to discern or trust their own intuition, whether you're the right person for them. And I feel like you're just, I feel like you're not waiting around for this individual here. And I feel like you guys are just kind of like moving this along. This person either could be 28 years old or 31 years old, between 20 and 31, okay? So, um, yeah, so let's see what else we have here for you, uh, Leo. Okay, what else do we have here for Leo? Some of the person that Leo is dealing with here, thinking of separated from, you could apply this to new love, current love, or an ex. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? Eight of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Cups. Like, do you feel like this person does really love you here? You know, but I feel like also this person's distracted here or that this person is working up the courage to work things out here with you, to talk to you here, okay? Um, yeah, I just feel like this person's really distracted. Perhaps they're really scattered here too. We have the Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have the Four of Wands here. Wow, this person has a big offer here for you, uh, Leo. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here, and the Four of Wands. I mean, this could be Twin Flame energy here, okay? Um, between you and your person here, we have judgment, Sagittarius energy. It does seem like if there's separation here, this person's looking for some sort of reconciliation, some sort of second chance here. You know, if this person was dealing with other options here, you know, I feel like this person's letting the other options go in there. I feel like they're choosing you here, Leo. So I'm going to clarify this two of wands with the sun card here. All right. Sun card, Leo energy. Tell me about this eight of pentacles here. Why is the eight of pentacles here? The eight of pentacles here and the page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy and the ace of cups here and the two of swords. Very interesting here. Like, I feel like this person just can't trust themselves. I feel like this person is in, is in complete denial of how they feel about you. They're in complete denial that they're in love with you here. So I feel like this person basically, perhaps they had no intentions of falling in love. Uh, perhaps they were just looking for friends and friends with benefits and stuff like that. But I feel like this person does truly care. So I feel like this person's, you know, showing, they're, 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 show, they're, they're feeling more what they're leading on here, okay? The Page of Cups here, and also we have the Seven of Wands. The uh, Four of Wands and the Five of Wands here. There's just a lot of conflict here between you and your person. Yeah, and it really comes down to this person listening to other people's opinions and not really listening to themselves. Because I feel like deep down inside, this person really truly does care and does really love you here. You know, I, and you feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person is resisting this connection here based on other people's opinions here. We have judgment. Why is judgment here? And also the Ace of Pentacles, yeah. 
They're looking for a reconciliation. They're looking for a second chance here. They're looking for a new beginning here with you. So this person's coming in with a big offer here, but my only concern is that this person's coming up as a page. So, you know, when I see a page, there's so many training wheels in life. They still have a lot of learning and growing to do here. So if this person's trying to offer you something big here, to be quite honest, I feel like it's not gonna last. Yeah. What else do we have here for Leo? Outcome and advice. What else does Leo need to know? Look out for, work on for Leo. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Tower, and also the World card here. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Four of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups. the tower, Aries Scorpio energy, and also the world. It seems like, you know, for them, you are everything that they ever dreamed of here. But I feel like with the tower card here, it's going to come crashing down again, because like I said, I feel like this person takes other people's opinions as if it was gold. Like, I feel like this person doesn't really trust their own feelings and their own discernment here. You know, we have the page of pentacles here and the two of pentacles. It's kind of like an energy of like, okay, I want this, but then, then it's kind of like, okay, what am I doing? Okay. So they do want to make peace with you. They do want to work things out here with you. Okay. We have the seven of cups here and also the eight of cups. You see, they're telling you everything. They're telling you that you're everything that they ever dreamed of, but then this person ends up walking away from you again. We have the Lovers and the Ten of Cups. T tower and the Three of Cups. The World. And the Ace of Wands. Okay. We have three out of the four Aces here. I mean, there could be a potential for prosperity here at some point, but it's going to take this person to really get a grip on this here. Yeah, it's going to take this person some time to really grow up and mature and really start trusting themselves and listening to themselves instead of others here. Other people are getting in the way. That's the Three of Cups in the Tower that's causing this connection to not come together here. Yeah, this person's listening to others here. Uh, clearly, you guys do have a strong soulmate connection here. Okay, uh, we have the a Magician, Gemini, Virgo, and we also have the King of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. I do feel like this person's easily manipulated. I do feel like this person's very easily swayed here, okay? But, you know, I do feel like this person's going to grow some balls or grow some cojones here and come back towards you and trying to manifest here with you. But I feel like by that time that happens, I feel like it's going to be too late, yeah, you're also like in this situation, you're beyond hurt here. And I feel like you're turning your back on the situation because I feel like you're glowing up. Yeah, you're moving towards new beginnings. You're, you're connecting with yourself or other people or other things that are, that are more in, in alignment with who you are. So, and I feel like you're realizing it's, that it's not this person. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.